guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today it is just gonna be me because Akila is just so jam-packed with work at the moment. So I'm just gonna sit down with you and chat thrifty, girly, maybe guy things. A lot of it is very natural, earthy, boho feel because that's exactly what I like. Since I was a little girl, my mom brought me up on thrifting since I was two years old, in fact. She used to give us 20 Rand every single Saturday and we had to go in and find a little gem and you really had to look. That's the one thing about thrifting because you just skim through everything so quickly and you never know if you miss a little gem. So I really recommend that if you are going into a thrift store, th a thrift store that you just stop, take a minute and really just look through everything because so often there is a little treasure just waiting to be found. Some reasons why I do thrift, it's sustainable, it's good for the environment, you are literally saving the earth by thrifting. Buying from larger corporations is just having such a drastic environmental impact on the earth and it's just, it's just not good. We really, really, really need to get on board and onto this wagon about just changing the way that we do things because if we don't, we are in huge trouble. I don't even have to go into detail about all the reasons why we are in huge trouble, but you know the deal and we need to cut down what we buy. Just a disclaimer, I am not completely innocent in the situation. I do consider myself a bit of a shopaholic and I love buying things, but a lot of the time, instead of buying from larger corporations, I often buy from small businesses or 99% of the time I thrift. Almost everything in my house is thrifted. I absolutely love thrifting. And you get such insane things. What I'm about to show you are some of my favorite thrifted items. And if this does well, I'm hoping to do a part two at a later stage because I couldn't fit it all into one video. I thrift all the time. Like I said, 99% of the things in my house are thrifted. I'm super passionate about it and I can't wait to share some of my best buys with you. Okay guys, so I'm gonna just dive right in. <laughs> Um, I have a whole lot of items behind me and next to me that I'm just gonna pop up on screen, tell you kind of what the value of it would be and how much I got it for, which every single thing that I've got here is such a bargain. I can't wait to share. I'm super excited and there really are some beautiful things that you can get through thrifting. So the very first thing I wanna show you is this basket. I use them for plants, I use them for towels, I use them for literally party hats. <laughs> I use baskets for everything. I am a huge fan of baskets. And this little gem I got for, drum roll please, 20 Rand. 20 Rand at a thrift store. Something like this would cost close to 200 Rand anywhere else. 20 bucks guys, in comparison to 200 Rand. On to the next. Now, this is something that is very essential. When I saw it, I just couldn't give it a miss because when you're getting married, you need something that you can beat your husband with. No, I'm joking. Seriously, I'm joking. <laughs> Ugh, it literally weighs a ton. I got this gem. It's like a marble roller with a little stand and I love it. I use it all the time. Akila makes sure that he never steps out of line. Guys, I am joking, but I'm, I'm like being posh. <laughs> Anyway, I got this roller, it is so beautiful, and I got this gorgeous thing for only 50 Rand. It is real marble. It is so heavy, it weighs a ton, and it just makes pizza making and making dough and whatever we make with these things a lot easier because of the weight. So it's already pretty much doing all the hard, you know, for you. <laughs> The next thrifted item is something that I saw on Facebook Marketplace. It is through a little private thrift shop and when I saw it, I just fell in love with it. I'm not really a big fan of biscuits myself, but Akila is such a sweet junkie, so, and our best friend Rogan, he comes over all the time and the two of them, when they eat, it genuinely concerns me for their needs and this is what it is and I just love it. It's so cute. This is this little cookie jar. It is, I keep putting it in the wrong find, I'm so sorry, but here it is. It's got like the word biscuits on has a cute little dainty lid and a very nice kind of like Victorian style bottom I just love I just love it and it's kind of like a creamy off-white it is fold just make sure that it's always fold especially on the weekends um, and I got this little gem for 80 Rand and guys this is obviously something that you can't find at for 80 Rand I saw something like this at Woolies the other day for over 400 400 Rand for cookie jar no 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 okay the next thing is scatter cushions. I am just super obsessed with them. They are everywhere, they are everywhere, everywhere in my house. There's no surface that is untouched 
buy scatter cushions. So anyway, I found this bad boy in hospice, in plate. It is super soft. Listen to the crisp ASMR coming up. Yes, it is a duck down pillow. It is so beautiful and earthy and I just love it and it is super soft. And so on the same day I found this one and this is kind of like a little square cushion. Also super cute, also duck down. I love just good quality pillows and they are so expensive normally, but I got both of them for 35 Rand each. So two pillows for 70 Rand, including the covers. You cannot get that anywhere anywhere not even mr price so the next thing is a little gem that i actually found the other day i went to go drop off a box of stuff at hospice and i saw this and i was just like that is so cute we actually don't have one so i just decided to pop over and look and it is this cute little toothbrush holder so it's a tiny little kind of like stone like toothbrush holder and i got this for 10 rand 10 rand and it is solid guys like it's not gonna break anytime soon this is something that will probably last a lifetime and something like this would probably cost about 80 rand we actually went into mr price to go and find something very similar to this and it was just through the roof so 10 bucks 10 buckaroos for this bugging okay being a teacher i'm like the crazy bag lady i'm all over the place i have a hundred different bags for a hundred different things but i feel like super sophisticated when i have a bag and i found these cute little bags at a thrift shop this is the one it's kind of like a how do i describe this i'm sure you know the feeling it's like a woolen bag but quite a rough woolen bag and it's got this super cute button which i absolutely love and then I got this bag as well with it. This one's slightly bigger, also made out of like a, a softer wool. Um, I carry a lot of my books in here. And I got both of them. This one was 20 bucks and this one was 25 Rand. That does not happen as well. It just doesn't happen and they are like new. When I got them, they were like new. They still like new. I've had them for over two years already and I'm just, I just love them. So <laughs> yet another reason to thrift. Now that that's out of the bag, <laughs> anyway back on to the next so when i saw these i was like hmm those are so cute i have very like a very light wood kind of style in my house i don't really like dark woods or yellow kind of wood but i saw this and i was about to get married and they were just sitting on the table staring at each other and i was like hmm okay so the one just looked like a keeler because it was super tall and the other one just looked like me no i'm kidding they really have no shape or face but they just reminded me of my me and my relationship and i was like that could go on my fireplace these two little like people <laughs> one's me one's Aquila, and they lean on each other i can't really show you but yeah i colored the hearts in myself they are slowly chipping off because i used tipix and i was really broke to buy acrylic paint they sit on my fireplace and they just really make me happy I, they do genuinely <laughs> make me super happy the very next thing that i saw is probably one of my best and most loved clothing items and it keeps me so warm i love this jacket i wear it literally 24 7 if it's cold and i'm always cold so here it is it is this sheepskin like jacket it is so beautiful it's got like these amazing sleeves and oh i just love it so so much guys something like this would easily cost 600 rand easily there is a jacket shop near us and when i walked in and i i literally bolted to it because there was this other lady looking at it and i was like no 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 not today that's mine <laughs> and i tried it on it's probably like two sizes too big but honestly i couldn't miss it up and it is just possibly my favorite jacket in the whole wide world and i got this for 150 rand 150 rand for this guys 150 rand i wish i had 10 no i'm kidding i don't minimalism minimalism as my husband would say yeah okay okay the next thing please do not judge me i have a five-year plan constantly in my head it is just drilled into me um one of the biggest things that i recommend to people who are going to buy their own house or get married or whatever is buy your stuff years in advance when Akila first met me he knew that he was going to marry me this is what he told me at least um and we started off our very first month by buying a wok i'll go more into detail on this in like another video but ever since then 
for five years before we got married, we bought something every single month. And by the time that we had to move in, it was such a pleasure. <laughs> we didn't stress about all the things that we needed to buy. We had a lot of it already. We just needed like the bigger furniture. So just think of Christina's five year plan and think about this. I can't help myself. I actually have no self control when it comes to this, but here they are. It is little people shoes. It is little people shoes, guys. Little people shoes, how cute. How cute are these? I literally love them. And guys, I got them for 10 Rand. I'm a little baby obsessed, like I said in the first or second video, one of them. How could you not? How, how could you not? Like if you walk past that and you don't plan on having kids one day and you just walk past these 10 Rand things, you are crazy. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I did mention this in our very first video. Myself and three of my other very amazing best friends have started a thrift shop. I'll link us up here. Please check it out. There are some really amazing clothing items. We mostly focus on women's clothes, but we are hoping to branch off more into guys. We're just waiting for guys to allow us to sell their clothes. One day, I started following this account and I saw that there was this bid going. I was waiting to see how other people were bidding and the, it just really didn't do very well. And I was so shocked because when you guys see this, you, you're not gonna believe it. And I was on the loo at like five to seven. My alarms were going off and I was literally sitting on the phone waiting to do this final bid. Like I was gonna win this because I couldn't believe how cheap it was. I, I, I. Let me just show you because you won't believe me. Look at this. These are genuine suede pants. Genuine suede Adidas pants. They were brand new. Brand new. Brand new. I still have the tags in my drawer right here. Brand spanking new. They retail for $200. That is 3,000 Rand roughly in South Africa. And I got these bad boys. Look at the inside. It is the definition of luxury. It's so beautiful. It is so, so beautiful. The smell, the weight of it, it is so heavy. I got it for 260 Rand on a bid. With tags still attached, my size. Just take a moment to like process that. 260 Rand for genuine suede name brand pants. I think I've only worn them 0.5 times since I bought them. Reason being, they feel like royalty. I, I honestly, I don't know where to wear them. I don't know how to wear them. But when I slip them on and like freshly shaven legs, you just like, <sighs> so good, so good. Probably one of my best and favorite thrifted items and one of the biggest bargains that I've ever got in my entire life. I will probably hang on to these for a very long time. I don't know how to wash them for the life of me. How do you wash leather? If you please know, just like comment down below because I have no idea how you would wash these. Why? Again, I haven't worn them more than 0.5 times and it was literally a hot minute just to like sit in them and like lather in this feeling that I've never quite felt in my life before. <laughs> okay. Okay, the next thrifted item are these beautiful marble coasters. These are also genuine, real marble. They are like so cute. They're kind of like an olden style marble, but I just love them so, so much. I also got them at the very same thrift shop that I got this thing from. Um, probably a set, maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, I got these, something like this at like at home or Woolies or wherever would probably cost 300 to 400 Rand. They are so heavy, it is beautiful. Like we use them in our home all the time, especially when guests are here. And I got this for 30 Rand. And they are so strong and beautiful and definitely one of the first things that I just couldn't wait to put on a dining room table. It, the excitement was real and <laughs> we use them all the time. They are super handy, prevented many coffee stains. Get yourself a good set of coasters for 30 Rand from a thrift store. <laughs> So the next three items are clothes. Anyway, it is these corduroy pants, corduroy, corduroy, corduroy pants. They are like a creamy white. They are so beautiful. I like roll them up and I picked these up for 80 Rand um, and something like this you would not get for 80 Rand. I'd say something like this would probably cost close to 200 or 300 Rand and I really got them at such a steal. So I wear these on comfy days, Fridays or, you know, days that you just want to schlump around in. 
Okay, and then this next item is a Polonic. I live for Polonics. This is like a very earthy, natural Polonic. I actually wore it in the wedding video before I changed last week, if you want to check it out. I love this. It is so soft. It is from... It is from Woolies. So something like this was cost probably 280 to 400 Rand because we just know things like this cost. It's got this beautiful little pattern on the arms. I don't know if you can see it. And this I got for 20 Rand. And at a thrift a thr I got this for 20 Rand at a thrift shop. Unfortunately, Plet isn't very versatile in terms of what we have here to buy secondhand or pre-loved. But whenever I do go traveling to like other remote little towns, we definitely pop in and we find the bargains. The next thing is another corduroy item. It is also like a little beigey corduroy. So beautiful. It's a huge coat. It's imported um, and it is so soft. And I know that we live in South Africa, but your girl lives for coats and scarves and polo necks and things that will just keep her warm. I was born in winter and I'm gonna stick that way for the rest of my life. These kind of coats are just what I live for. And anytime that it's cold, I just have a perfect excuse to slip into them probably got more coats than somebody who lives in the uk but that's okay that's okay because we wear them a lot this corduroy coat co this corduroy co i can't say it i literally I this corduroy coat <laughs> That's like the ninth time I've said that finally got it right. I got for 200 Rand the same thrift shop that I got my beautiful sheepskin um, and something like this would cost either 800 Rand to 900 possibly even more. Anyway, so so happy that I found this. I literally wear it all the time. I love coats. If you guys see a coat that's a bargain, hit me up. Okay guys, I've got four more items left. Please stick around to the end because I am gonna reveal my absolute favorite item. So the next thing is a quilt. It has this beautiful fern pattern on. It is so, so stunning. I got four of these on a little sale that I saw. I consider it thrifting because it is pre-loved and secondhand and anything that is pre-loved and secondhand was much better for the environment. So I got all four for 300 Rand. The very next thing I got at a huge bargain and this is something that I got a couple of years back and at the time it was a big bargain because I know that it was brand new at the time. It, it was a 2016 model and when I got it, it was it was going for about 20k, close to 20k and when I saw this I was desperate for a laptop. So I got this, it is the 2016 MacBook. I thrifted this for 12,000 and yes, it may seem like a hell of a lot for a laptop, but at the time it was brand, brand, brand spanking new. I'm so no shame, no scam. So literally go thrift guys, just go thrift because you literally get bargains all the time. There is no excuse not to thrift. Guys, fourth and finally, I don't have him with me because since I moved out, my mom has been holding on to him um, because, yeah, I got married and she needed a little bit of Christina to cling on to. This was my very first thrifted item. It is something that is so, so close to my heart and it makes me so emotional, just taking me back to the fact that I saw this little, this little dude one day just hanging on a shelf in hospice in Johannesburg and I wanted him. I wanted him so bad. This is Snoozy, guys. Snoozy Snoozy is my teddy bear and Snoozy is a very old bear. I'm 22 and I got him when I was three and I just love him to bits. Unfortunately, I'm just so petrified of having him around. He's very breakable, he's super fragile. I actually found out that the specific bear costs quite a bit of money and it costs 9,000 Rand now because it's a collector's item. I would never sell it because to me it is absolutely priceless and I just love my teddy bear so, so much. So guys, this is Snoozy. <laughs> That'll always be my favorite, ultimate favorite. I know I've called a lot of things favorite, but Snoozy is my favorite thrifted item. And I slept with him every single day until I got married. And then he was replaced with a bigger bear. What? Not replaced, just, you know, moved on. I'm so sorry, Snoozy. <laughs> I really am. No shame. I've literally love him to bits so guys i just want to say thank you so much for watching this youtube video i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you really 
can see now what you can get through thrifting and so I encourage you to please just not buy as much and if you do just check if a thrift shop has it before yeah thank you so much for watching peace